Why, hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Review Cade. I'm Nick alongside... Andrew. And we are playing a different game. We are playing Doom Eternal. We're taking a little bit of a break from Grim Fandango. So what we're going to be doing, basically, is uh, about every 15 episodes or so, whenever we're playing a game, we get to about episode 15, we're going to be kind of mixing in another game as well. Changing it up. Yep. And so... Uh, Doom Eternal is my first time playing it. I actually downloaded this, like, I think a month ago because <laughs> it was on sale. Mm. But I wanted to go in fresh. I've played the reboot of Doom, which was really, really good. Um, and so I just wanted to play this because we haven't played a first-person shooter on the show. And I don't even think really together we've actually, like, played a first-person shooter together at all, I don't think. No. And so one of the the important things is so you have these these difficulties you have i'm too young to die you have hurt me plenty you have you know ultra violence and then nightmare and the thing is is that we're gonna I'm, i think i'm gonna start off on hurt me plenty and that but then maybe go to i'm too young to die simply because so since i i have one arm the it, it's just playing the reboot i play i beat the game of course on easy which is the i'm too young to die but when i brought it to just the medium level it was mm -hmm. so fucking hard because nice. there's no auto aim there's just nothing so i was just getting annihilated um so the good thing is is that i, I checked and this is one thing I, I made sure of before we started playing was that when i select difficulty i can change difficulty if it gets a little bit too hard in terms of like where i i'm just getting annihilated where i can't turn around in time because i have to play with my stub and stuff like that so, we're going to start on Hurt Me Plenty, and uh, we'll see if we have to adjust difficulty going forward, but I am super excited about this. I love Doom. This is one of my just favorite... I'm not a big FPS person, but this is probably like one of the very few FPSs that I play. Hell yeah. <laughs> Already an episode in, and you're taking it, a break oh, me. It, it shall begin again. <laughs> God damn it. There is no escape, boy. So, basically, the story for this is I believe it takes place, like, right after, I believe, the reboot of Doom, which is, for if you didn't play the reboot, um, basically, you're on Mars, and try to colonize Mars, it all goes to shit, and so now, basically, for lack of a better term, hell is come to Earth, basically. Um, so, yeah, I'm... Very, very excited. Have you, were you ever a big Doom person? No, not up, really. It was no. more Duke Nukem, honestly. Mm. It was more of a, a Nukem guy. And then I just got off track from, from games like this. So yeah. I've, I've played Doom. I've played Wolfenstein. I've played similar games of their ilk, but mm. not like, nothing. Not, I, I wasn't just a big, big Doom uh I, I think just like my, my journey video game wise took a, a after the side scroller Duke Nukem's right it just kind of took like a sideways down like Nintendo Alley and yeah and uh, uh, I would I don't know Xbox and I like I went I went from playing simple PC games yeah and my uncle one of my uncles uh, would actually burn um, like illegally download computer <laughs> games and give them to me. Yeah. Um, so I got to play like an illegal version of Duke Nukem and like all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I got a Nintendo 64 and I just played Nintendo for the longest time. And then Xbox 360, Wii, and then obviously Xbox One, all that stuff. So not didn't didn't play a lot of Doom uh, growing up. But I have played it. It's just not like been. It was just one of those one of those games that I like. I played but never got deeply, deeply into. You know? Right. Yeah. For me, Doom was one of those games where I remember the first Doom. I was at like a friend's house and he had it, and I kind of I played a little bit of it, but I wasn't like. I went over there all the time to play Doom. It was like, oh, he had Doom. We just played for like about twenty minutes or so, and that was really. Up until the reboot, I haven't really had a um, deep experience with Doom, but I mean, I've heard a lot of great stuff about Eternal, uh, and of course, like I said earlier, the reboot was just fantastic. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this, and uh, 
Yeah, like I said, I, we've never played a first-person shooter yet, so this is actually going to be really, really interesting. Oh, look at that cute boy. Oh, shit. Well, you turned him into Pink Mist. You couldn't get his number, Nick. Yeah. It's very rude. Oh, I, I, I immediately, I think I have to go... If I'm already losing health like this, I might have to lower the difficulty, but we'll see. I, I mean, these are just... Let's see, these, I mean, those are just barely, like... Uh, okay. So, apparently, okay, so... Whee! So, pretty much, you the turned controls... turned him into a human pancake. Pretty much. So, pretty much, it looks like, I guess, the... Whoa. I guess the, uh... Controls are pretty much the same, which is good. Because the, con the controls, I'll say this. Um, for somebody with one arm playing a game, they're really, really accessible. So... That's also a reason why I don't really play a whole lot. Ooh, hi. Yummy. I'm gonna go all Patrick Bateman on him. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Press. What's it? Square. Square. Okay. Nice. Oh no! Ah. Oh, that's actually really cool that you just had to hit square. Cause I think in the reboot you had to like swap. Oh, ow. <laughs> cool. That's that's what the demons sound like when you're when you're cutting them. Oh no! Oops! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> that one hurt. <laughs> Ouchie. <laughs> hmm. That's actually that's actually really nice. Like I guess I think in the reboot you had to like manually switch to the chainsaw to use it, whereas with here you can just press square. Is it more of a melee than than like? Because I thought that when you manually manually switched over to the chainsaw, it it took. Uh, like gasoline. It did. To use. Well, you see in the lower right hand corner, that's where the square is. That mm. little. That, it does still run in gas, but I think, from what I believe, I believe. Oh, that's why I got my map up here. Um, I'm like, why isn't anything going forward? Um, from what I believe, it, it, is that unlike the reboot, the amount of gas used is not like. Mm. Oh, hey! As much. Hey, look at that! Human cubes! Ooh! Delicious human cubes. Oh my god, they're still alive. It's, it's a new product, human cubes. Oh, it's like Oddworld. <laughs> uh, by the way, how great was that in the oh, trailer? Oh man, I am so excited. It's the same gameplay type. Yeah. Same gameplay type, just updated with modern graphics, and it's so nice. Like, I, I know that that's, that's going to have to be a game that we play yeah. on, this, on this, because... Or on on on, on our, show. our review cage, yes, because it, it's something that we both have talked a lot about. Yes, something that was I think very formative in our video game childhood. So to play the newest one, mm -hmm. so people can see what how annoyingly difficult it probably will be. <laughs> I can already tell just from the trailer. Yeah, how annoying that game's gonna be. Yeah, yeah. From oh, there we go. This is a really great sex dungeon. Whoever put, <laughs> whoever, whoever designed it did a great job. I mean, I could do with a little bit more blood and rust, but you know, it needs a little bit more. So we're saying it needs a little bit more of an agony feel to it. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely use some more just random flesh tentacles on the walls. Mm, you know, uh, okay. A few baby screams here and there, but you know, overall, I mean, I like the. the I I never thought about cramming a bunch of people into a meat cubes. No. I mean, that, I'm sure that that's quite the aphrodisiac. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Fifty Shades of Red. <laughs> yeah. So I have to go straight. So I know I'm walking around in circles, but like I'm literally looking at up at the indicator up top, mm -hmm. and it's like going down, but then it's like it's a giant circle that I'm going in. Yar. So here's this. If I open this up, Mm -hmm. I go down here, and what the fuck is these? Jamba Juice. Uh, they might be ammo for like a gun or something that I need to get later. Or like shield stuff. Maybe. Maybe it's health, that's probably what it is, it's probably health. Well, they already screwed up because they made the health blue instead of red. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ooh, okay, so where's that? Ooh, what about up there? Oh wait, is that, is that the, oh, okay, so I, 
That's right, because it was like, I, it, like it showed in the, uh, the little guide, it was like, oh, press X to, whatever, so do I have to, I have to double jump. So I probably get to. Boing, boing. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Yeah! yeah! There we go. Ooh, armor. Nice. And health. Oh, I don't what the hell are those blue things then? It's odd. It might be some sort of. Air. Oh, wait. Is this. Who is this? Oh, you can. Ah. Where you can mod your, your weapons. What's his, what's his name? I. Carl. Ronaldo? Yes. The. Oh, oh. Full auto. A full auto shotgun. Yes. Thank I also you. just love how they still kept the form of. Um, Whenever you update your weapon or something like or whatever, there's always like, a robot that helps, and you just like have total disrespect for that robot. <laughs> you just don't give a flying fuck about its its well being. Let's see. Boss fight. <laughs> pew pew. I'll say this though, man. When I punch these things, ooh, flashing. Oh. He Love just it. wants to give you hugs, Nick. That's so mean. Well, I don't want hugs, goddammit. Oh, shit. It's a zombie boy. Wow. 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 He, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, I think... Oh, that's the thing, too, about this game, I believe, as well, is, um... If the demons hit, um... Actually, no, it's a true... It is something that happens. Oh, yeah, I definitely gotta switch the... the <laughs> because I'm already getting... Just a little easier for yeah the so what i read is that in this ver in this game in, in eternal if a demon if the de uh, a demon hits another demon that demon will attack that demon which is really great i'm gonna adjust these settings here i mean it would make sense that they're not all friendly they are from hell yeah i mean if you really think about it where they're at right now is a really beautiful destination look like a really lovely vacation location like yeah, definitely like considering the the halls of blood gore screams etc that they're probably used to uh-huh this is nice this is a nice like it's like going to a five-star resort for them by comparison <laughs> and i mean you also got meat cubes so oh yeah so i mean you know you know the catch of the day is always fresh mm -hmm. i mean that is just Good lord. Okay, got gas. Alright. Woo! Boom! Oh yeah, I like I definitely uh -oh. needed to I definitely needed to change the difficulty in this because Jesus Jesus Christ! He was gonna show you his collection of Pokemon cards. He was raising his hand up, couldn't you see? Uh-huh. Gosh, Nick. Ooh, headshot. Oh, I thought it was a headshot. It's not. Oh, it's a punch. Like that. Incredibly uh. disrespectful. When someone just wants to show you... DISRESPECT YOUR SURROUNDINGS! I mean, more more along the lines of... You know, mm. maybe you need... Maybe you need to talk to somebody ammo, about, ammo. about these aggressive feelings towards demons. Demons are great guys. They're they're they're, <laughs> they're truly, great people. Truly, I mean, these guys are just trying to give Shit. you high fives. You're just not putting your hand up fast enough. Shit. <laughs> well, I only have the one, man. So, you know, if I got a gun in one, I can't high five in the other. Lift your foot up. They'll Fuck accommodate. That. Nah. <laughs> My balance is already shot, anyways. I don't need to <laughs> do anything else to worsen it. I mean, they're all real. Real like just stunners, just real cuties. I mean, this jeez, oh, man. There's gotta be, they gotta be coming from like everywhere. There's gotta be a reason why it was like just nonstop. Cause I know in the, in the in the reboot there were times like when you had to go to these little vessels, you pull the eyes out of them, and they'd basically be like the doors would close would or whatever. Well, that's the boost me up here. Um, but, yeah, but that's the thing, too, is, like, those, those, uh, eyes would be, like, a kind of a challenge. Okay, like, you, you rip the side out of this thing. Now a fleet of, you know, demons are going to come after you. I think you just had to clear the room. Yeah. 
get to Deej Nilox's chambers. You know what? That's that's one thing that has to happen during this playthrough, is we have to mm, mispronounce all of the names. <laughs> hey! Hey! Hey, cutie! What's going on? <laughs> oh, you like getting choked? Okay. Harder, daddy! Harder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, he reminds me of Shinnok from Mortal Kombat, actually. Oh, wow. He, uh... Now kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Starts reciting Hamlet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, something big this way comes. Oh, no! Um, this is currently Los Angeles. Yep. <laughs> God. Oh, fires. Dude, it is just. <laughs> on top of COVID, on top of all of, like, it's just chaos here, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not, if you're not aware of, of, of what's happening in Los Angeles, <laughs> they, they, we, we have. To, to quote Ro the late Robert <laughs> Williams, we live in God's at just sketch. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and you're just shaking it. Bombs. Do wait a minute. What? Were you switching out your original? No, I'm. Oh, you're just adding, picking up an additional swap, so you can now go yeah. between full out. Oh, okay. So now I can swap between sticky bombs and just like a regular thing. Interrupt. The objective oh, markers show you where your objective is. Oh, really? I didn't know. Sorry, I'm not used to that since um, we just played a game where there's none of that. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Oh, God, this brings me so much joy. Just simple smashy smashies. Wow, they're very durable. I know, I know in the uh, in the, the reboot, the versions of those guys was like, really like one punch, they would just... just Splatter. Splatter everywhere, yeah. Whoa! This is like a mech pilot thing. Mm-hmm. Good lord. Okay. Um. Wee! Wee! This is all just fun. Like, there's there's nothing bad happening here. So weak points, I know that. Let's see. Blue juice! Don't forget your blue juice. Mm. I don't even know. It's just like... I don't know what they are on the floor. I, yeah, I don't know if they're markers or what or, or something. I know somebody. It's probably just blue juice. Demons like leaving out little lines of blue juice. It's probably somebody <laughs> watching. It's like, no, um, actually, it's this. It's. Well, no one can correct me because I know I'm right when it comes to the blue juice. <laughs> it's it's blue lemonade. That's what it is. The mm. demons are, you know, they may be hell spawn. They may hate with a fiery passion. Mm -hmm. But it's all just, you know, they, they still have a soft spot for the for a tasty summer beverage, you know? Yeah. Ah, damn it. Die. So many missed high fives, man. I know. Oh. I was like, what the hell? Oh, thank you. I need these. I need these. I need these. I need these. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. It's a brain on stilts. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Hi. Oh, ow, owie, uh-oh. <laughs> Don't do that, that's mean. I'm running away ah, now. I need health, where the hell's the health? No! There's ammo. There's, yeah, which I don't need. <laughs> Try uh, some blue juice. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, good, good, good God. Ammunition! Health there it bag. is! Oh, Ooh. thank Jesus! Ah! Oh, hey! Ow! Oh, that's me! Let's see what I can do. Yay! Oh! Ooh, fun! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That'll, that'll be, every time that people watch this, it's just going to be the narration. Every time a demon dies, it's just, Oh, ow, <laughs> It's the most, like, innocent Oops, sound. Ow, even though I they're missed, like, ow. Even though, even though they're actually like, screaming in Whee! pain. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Jesus. Ah, I'm gonna double jump. Ah, there we go. Come on. Kick him in the nuts. God, they are really resilient in this game. Again, these, those things used to just be like... Oh, oh, they, oh it is. It, oh, it is health. Like little ticks like, of health. No, oh, man. That's great. Ah. <laughs> you were just going to take him to the prom, and he got angry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you went arm in arm, and he was like, Nah, I don't want to go to the prom. You're like, well, fine. Well, fine. Chick, chick, chick. Then stay home. I won't buy you a corsage, <laughs> Bridget. Was that the name of your prom date? I never went to prom. I, I, went, to I went to junior prom. No, I I'll rephrase that. I went to junior prom, never went to senior ball. I never went to prom. Like, purposefully never went to prom. I'm sure, like, oh, not, not that I'm sure. I know of somebody who actually asked me to the prom. Ah. Uh. But they didn't ask me. They asked their friend to ask me to go to the prom. And I didn't even... Sorry, I just had a big boner there for a second. A huge murder boner. Uh, uh, heavy cannon. <laughs> um, they, a they had their friend ask me. And I didn't know who this person was. And I'm like, how am I supposed to go to the prom with you if I don't even know who you are. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna say yes. Like, have, like, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, it, it is very, uh, I, I'm flattered. Thank you very much. But, mm -hmm. um, please ask me yourself. Yeah. That's, that's another thing. Like, I've had this conversation before with, mm. uh, with friends of mine, uh, about, like, women asking men to things. Yeah. Like, you do know men also like to feel special. Yes. Right? Yes. Like we, we we do too also like to feel like we're the belle of the ball. And, you know, sometimes we wanna get spoiled. <laughs> so maybe, honey, ask your man out on a date. This is for all y'all single ladies, all y'all taken ladies. <laughs> ask your man out on a date. Take your man out on a date. It's it's gonna make him feel like and I mean, when I say take him out on a date, I'm talking like you are taking him to something, like something romantic, something like you are, are, are spoiling him. You are taking him to dinner. You are paying for dinner. You are paying for the, you know, that yeah. sort of thing, right? Because more, more often than not, men don't, we're, we're, we're always the ones doing the asking and doing the... The, the the moves and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it feels nice to feel like you're, you know, wanted and, and, and desired, etc. So, great piece of advice from me, Andrew, Lord of uh, Dates, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, ask your man out. Take your man. Treat your man. Special your man. It's not just, you know, some like, you know, I don't know special sex or whatever i mean that includes and that included makes the night even more special but like treat your man Bas yeah I make mean, it feel special that, well that's the thing is, is you know when it comes to, to dates like you just curb stomped it i did that, that time. I, I did when it comes to dates like you know and, and we've talked about this but like um you know i pay for dates and stuff like that when i go out and and and, and everything but yeah it, it's just nice for me once in a while like you know, when you know I'm at a drive-through with somebody I'm dating and and or wherever, and they just offer to pay, or or not even just like fully pay, just be like, you know, hey, if we go to a movie or whatever, like I got this, you get this, you know, just go halfsies on it, like it's you know, especially especially what, you know living in a state where it's ex expensive like California, <laughs> where. You know, yeah, I would love to be able to afford everything under the sun, mm -hmm. but, you know, rent's kind of expensive here, it and, is. uh, you know, the cost of living is pretty high, um, but no, it's just, it's just one of those things where, like, not every time, but, yeah. I think it's, I think it's the thought, it's the, yeah, I, that's what I it think is. that, I think that's something that's also really important in long-term relationships. Yes. Long-standing relationships, you should be, I like that we're talking about relationships as demons are just exploding in giant red mist. Uh, <laughs> this is love. Yes. Um, <laughs> Sometimes I, I, I really think that in, in committed relationships, it's mm -hmm. important 
for, and I, I don't know how, I don't know what our demographic is for, for this show. I don't know how many women watch this show, how many men watch this show, but it's really, like, it, it is really awesome when, when I, 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 I have, I, I think I've maybe been asked out, aside from that prom thing, I've been asked out once in my lifetime. Yeah. And I think that it's, it really, like, I think it helps, especially in, in long-term relationships. Mm -hmm. I think it really helps with, with, like, making people, making the person that you're with feel like you also desire them. Right. You also, like, want to take care of them and, and like, make them feel special. I think that that's, like, I, I'm, just, I'm gonna do that because it's just kind of what's bred into the, like, male psyche is like, yeah, you should you know spoil your lady and treat her right and take her out on dates but you there are should. plenty of times I would like to be you know like I'm gonna pick you up I'm gonna take you out I'm gonna pamper your ass yeah. you know what I mean like that would be that would be the bottom, the that bottom, would be great the, well that's the thing is the bottom line is whenever you're in a relationship to treat you know that's the saying go treat someone as you want to be treated and it's like you know, don't. The, I think the, the a big problem is that some people go into relationships thinking like like expecting things. Like I expect this. Is there a limit on the number, the amount of ammo you can have in this? Sorry, I just had a question because you ran past some like shotgun ammo back there. Um, and I wanted to make sure like, is there like a limit to how much you're permitted some, to carry yeah, some, a total? Yeah, sometimes you, there, there's there's a max ammo limit sometimes. Oh. So I got, I'm also caught on shotgun stuff. But yeah, no, like I said, it's one of those things where. When it comes to dating, it's like it, it's a two-way street. It's it, I think that if it's if it's if if somebody goes to a relationship, whether you're a man or a woman, and you say, "Well, I expect that when we go out, that I never have to pay for anything, or you know, I'm not gonna do anything nice for this person," you know, like you know, then that's not then then don't be in a relationship because that's just a wasting somebody's time, but b also not being considerate of them or their feelings because yeah because nobody wants to feel like they're the only ones giving effort they're, nobody wants to feel like they're the only ones you know um contributing in a sense and you know so it's just yeah it's just if you wouldn't like it then yeah. maybe you should also do it you know yeah so <laughs> it's just yeah and, and i think just you know be considerate and oh shit okay I hit. okay so i gotta hit r3 to Okay, this is gonna be really interesting. Um, but yeah, it's just you know being considerate and stuff like that, and you know just you know give give some and you get some. That's you know that's that's basically the gist of it. You know, again, it's not not sitting here saying like, oh, this person, you know, such and such has to pay for everything. It's like no, it's like it's okay, especially in today's society. It's okay to go half on things. It's okay to want to do something nice for somebody and not have to feel like you have to do it, but like do it usually you want to do it, you know? I think both both sides of a relationship, regardless of of who they are, yes, should be should be comfortable enough doing asking the other person, yes, to go out, to like yeah, have plan like I, you know, I like feeling like that person thought, like, put genuine thought into, I really think this person would like this, this excursion yes. or this event yes. or whatever. And like, action, and, 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 you don't know, put, don't putting, put, putting time in, that's what, that's what I fucking do. Yeah, putting that's time what in, I do. I would like to, I would like to, you know, have that reciprocated, feel like that yes. person's, you know. And it, it only enhances the reasons why I am dating that person. It yes. only makes it only gives me a stronger sense of why you know because it's like oh they're actually taking the time to give a heck of doodle. Yeah. About me. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing is again it's just feeling like you're wanted and just you know again with this whole thing it's just with just dating it's again yeah it's nice to, you know. I always like planning something. Whenever I'm in a relationship or whatever, like they're dating somebody or whatever, I'm always thinking of things like, okay, what does this person like to do? Oh, this would seem nice. Let me surprise this person with this or whatever. And it goes both ways, you know? It's just it's, it's just a sign of, of appreciation. And people, bottom line, just want to feel appreciated and feel like, you know, 
you're meeting them halfway at least when it comes to certain things and ideas and adventures Yay! and stuff like that. And, you know, so it's just, again, it's just don't go into things. What the fuck? Oh, I just died. Just don't go into things, um, you know, expecting that uh, you're owed certain things, you know, or you're owed everything. And um, on that note, we're going to end this episode and uh, continue with more Brutal Mayhem.